Welcome back to theCUBE. We're at Accelerator in uh, Mountain View, California. As you know, the Cube goes out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. We find the smartest people we can find, ask them the questions that you wish you could ask them, and really try to find out what's going on and help you uh, get closer to the action. So I'm really happy to have Gamil Grant on, your VP of Business Development now. Gamil and I have been buddies for a long time, and, and Gamil has a couple of interesting perspectives that we'll dig into. One, he's been always an enterprise guy. He never bought into the whole kind of crazy, some of the consumer stuff that, that wrapped up the valley over the last several years years and was recently at, at Sierra Ventures. So um, had a very interesting kind of point of view as to what was happening here in the Valley, uh, specifically in the startup space, but then also in the enterprise space. And you decided to uh, to leave uh, Sand Hill Road, which you know most of us think we would never do, to come down back down to the Valley and, and jump in at Accelerator. So why? Yeah, yeah, yeah great, great question. So. It, yeah, I have spent the last uh, number of years, as you know, uh, in the enterprise space, and then the last five years at Sierra Ventures, watching a number of different industry trends. And this is one of these trends which is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of trend. I mean, I think mobility often gets uh, uh, simply defined as the device uh, uh, conversation, but as you well know, the enterprise is driven by a whole portfolio of applications and a whole portfolio of managing of those applications. And mobility is the grist here that is changing that whole stack. And so, f looking at it from the venture side, we saw, geez, lots of major trends, lots of interesting technologies to invest in, but very few that are true transformative platform opportunities that truly could be multi-billion dollar kind of movement of the market kind of things. What we're seeing right now, and as you know, I spent a lot of time with CIOs, uh, both at my role at uh, Sierra Ventures and here, um, and what we're seeing is the CIO is really thinking much differently. Innovation is critical, and the current legacy technologies that they've been beholden to are not the development environments for new applications. There is a whole different level of engagement with their consumer, with their business employees, with everyone inside the organization, and these mobile devices are the tools to do this with. So they're rethinking, just like they did in the internet days, about moving from legacy of green screen to the internet back in, you know, 15 years ago now, with mobility moving in the same way. They're going to reposition their entire portfolio of applications, hundreds and thousands of applications, to be a mobile first set of applications. It started with very simple kind of what device should it run on, kind of like the browser wars back now 15 years ago. And it's what device, should it be on an iPhone, should it be on an Android? And now very quickly the more mature CIOs are saying, it's not just about the app, it's not just about the device, it's about repositioning my entire portfolio. Every single application, not single one of them, will be built with mobility first. Ask a developer, are you building new applications? Sure, what will you build them on? Will you build them to run on a desktop first? What's your desktop first strategy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> your desktop first strategy. <laughs> so <laughs> clearly, everybody is building mobile first. And at some point, we'll get over this concept that it's mobility. It will just be the common development environment. Yeah. Everybody in the organization building for a mobile app. So it's, it's ironic for those of you who, who know the Valley, we're only blocks away from Netscape. You know, you, you bring up the early browser days and how transformative that was. But you know, I want to talk to you, we talked a while back about uh, what I thought was a really transformative story that you used about, you know, an insurance application. And I've been, I've been grilling the other guys earlier and they're just not kind of getting there to the level of detail that we had that discussion. Yeah. So I wonder if you could share with the audience, sure. you know, what a, what a mobile application means in something as simple as an insurance company that you just can't do with a laptop. Right, right, yeah, gr great question. So e every day I'm just blown away with how imaginative people are when they think about mobile first from an application standpoint. And the example you and I talked about was a company called Safeguard. Uh, you know, simple uh, kind of environment, have a lot of people out uh, cutting lawns and doing home inspections. Uh, traditional model was take photos of the environment, stick it in a FedEx box and ship it back and a few weeks later you get paid for the service you did. Geez, guess what, with a simple application of taking photos at the location, you can timestamp it. I know exactly whose device it is, I know exactly who you are, I know exactly where you are, time of day. That photo, very simple application, fundamentally transform this whole safeguard uh, capture of information effort 
and transform the productivity of this inspector team uh, that are not necessarily employees. So uh, the poor CIO at Safeguard has to figure out how to create an immersive application environment that's highly productive and simply offering a new application that took the BlackBerry world of before or the simple uh, collaboration world and, and traditional photos and captured into a single application that they can use is the kind of business productivity change that I think we're about to see take uh, uh, take take charge everywhere. I think everybody's going to begin to see that there's things that you can do on a mobile device that you could never do in a desktop. Location, live payments, live collaboration, the ability to know who the individual is at that personalized device level are just some of the key tenants that say, boy, if you build an application with mobile first intent, you're not just building it so that it runs on that little simple screen. No, no, no. You're leveraging these incredible, powerful new tools that can transform the productivity of that individual business. And Clearly, Safeguard is one of many, and I could come up with dozens of others, from Zipcar to Citibank to Merck to others that are actually using this technology in a way that is transforming how productive they are. And I think we're not just at the beginning of cool new applications level. I think this is the transformation of global productivity. The world will change based upon devices being able to give real-time information in a way that we never had effectiveness before and we're going to change productivity in an order of magnitude way and the companies that do it first will scare their competition and the competitive realm will take off based upon that and again I just think we're at the beginning of that yeah. overall race it's funny I just got I just got a new one myself they said um, it now it measures barometric pressure so there if you, you can write a compelling app that that integrates barometric and pressure an and there's an app for that <laughs> so I want to I want to shift gears and leverage yeah. your long experience with Sierra and and running CIO summits which I know you did a lot and you know to me I think these these poor CIOs are sitting there right and they've got the social trend the, the mobile trend um, this whole kind of what I do on the weekend, I want to be able to do during the week and right. bring my own device. H how should they think about kind of prioritizing it? And what are some of the insights that you can provide to CIOs watching this that weren't fortunate enough to be at some of those events? Yeah, yeah. great great question. So yes, CIOs are, are just overwhelmed, I think, with the quantity of things that they have to become a really effective at. I mean, the, the traditional axiom is they spend 80 to 90% of their time just managing the legacy infrastructure, leaving them very little time to spend on new innovation. And so at Sierra Ventures, they constantly were pinging me for insight. What should we be innovating around? And there were four key themes, as you likely know. It's that, you know, what are we doing around big data? What are we doing around mobility? What are we doing around social? And what are we doing around cloud? Each of those, they're befuddled with how to leverage them. And in this situation, what, what is causing, and I, as I mentioned, the safeguard example, this is a CIO who said, you know, this is not just about a cool application. This is about capturing data from a big data analytics standpoint, leveraging cloud infrastructure, and building new applications that allow me to collaborate, social, in a way that's altogether different. So a mobile application is my example of how they can finally get in front of the process mm -hmm. um, of innovating in a way that captures these four major tenants, social, cloud, analytics, and mobility together into a single thing. The application captures this information that I never was able to capture before. It now captures usage at a level that I didn't have as insight before. It captures the kind of dynamics around how an application is actually being deployed uh, in a way that I never had access to before. And I can now use this information to make really predictive in information about how I should be launching my business and running this as a cloud infrastructure-based application. So in a way, it's the first real cloud opportunity. You know, a lot of CIOs spend a lot of time working on uh, virtualization for the last five or ten years. Uh, you know, quietly in the background, you know, the end users like, so great, you've done virtualization, you consolidated 30 data centers down to three, no benefit to me uh, as an end user. The mobile device is the benefit to me and really is the opportunity to create this new immersive application environment that, again, takes advantage of social, big data, and cloud infrastructures. And again, I, I keep telling CIOs, the ring is passing around on the Ferris wheel. This is your opportunity to grab it again and take charge, lead yeah. the business. That's interesting. Is mobile is the way to kind of roll up all those trends, exactly. and and as we've been talking with the other guests, you know, find a a low hanging fruit application yep. so that you can deliver immediate value and show value to the team, which will then help guide your investment into more and maybe less uh, immediate ROI type of opportunities. Well, yep. Camille, thanks for coming on. We could talk to Camille forever. Um, go Stags, <laughs> but we've got we've got people backed up here, so we will uh, we'll be right back with another guest. Again, you're on the cube.